What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 as Ryazan. In the last episode, I'm pretty sure we finished up our war with Crimea, so we can now fabricate claims on Theodoro, so we can take Crimea from them, knock that checkmark off the list for achievements, and then figure out how we're going to take on the massive giant that is Muscovy. Hooray! Who's, who's rivaled to Muscovy right now? Denmark, Poland, and Castile. Interesting. I'll have to stop being allies with them at, one, at some point, but probably after I conquer a lot more of this to make myself more powerful. Um, let's go ahead and bring these guys back, or that guy back from Kazan so that we can start fabricating a claim on Crimea. Have no loans. My corruption is growing probably because of, uh, probably because of overextension. If I had to guess. I can use uh, support Oprashina, but I think I'm going to wait until... Not that button. Until the Crimean Separatists are at 30%, so we can knock both of them down a full 30%. Free advisor slot, but I'm not making all that much money, so I'll probably wait on that. I can convert provinces, but they're up to, uh, you know, 1,111 months to finish it, so probably not worth it right now. Fifteen twenty-six. That's when I can get the Inquisitor again. Oh. Start building spy network. Please. Genoa wants to hire some condottieri. Who are you fighting? You're fighting France, Burgundy, Flanders, and the Ottomans. Jeez. France and the Ottomans allied up? Good lord. That's not fun. Hopefully I don't have to deal with that. Could get military tech. And what kind of idea group am I doing right now? A humanist? Sounds great. Gets me Pike Infantry. Wow. I know you said they were superior. Eh, they technically are. Gonna need military access from Genoa. Which they would give me. that five shock general still available to me, which is nice. Disputed succession, claims on people. Up to 20%. Um, okay, they are reinforcing at least somewhat. Give them a province to demand stuff. What would you accept? This one or this one? Not a center of trade, but Speaking of trade, is this the way I still want to keep doing things? So I'm transferring from Kazan and Kiev into Novgorod, where I have very little power, 6% of the trade power, but I am collecting here because my capital is in the, in the Novgorod trade node. It is much more rich than anything else around here. I have to get down to like Constantinople to find something else any, any more rich. Kiev could be decent if I wasn't transferring so much, or me and other people. Point 
9-2 from trade. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and give Saratov to the burgers. Nope, not what I wanted. Wait. Oh yeah, it's got 51% 50, uh, autonomy. Almost gets him to where I can do stuff with him, so give him that as well. Master of Mints. Uh, can I afford him? I would like to get my inflation down, but I'm barely making any money as is. I'm not over my troop limit or anything, am I? No. Alright, now we can support the Opashina. I could promote I could prom promote Kazani culture as well. I mean they are almost a quarter of my country. What all am I using dip for right now? I mean I, let me take let me get ahead of time on Diplotech before I think about that probably. Would be good. Still in the golden era. That's still 1555. We got about, an, about another 40 years of it. Boundary disputes. Lack of good maps or tools to create accurate lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps will occasionally lead to overlapping claims of authority in border regions. This, these disputes were usually over very marginal areas, but could serve as a point of friction when monarchs decided to press press the issue. Uh, games a claim on Lithuania. Or lose one stab. Well, I'm not losing one stab. So. England is in a golden era. I'm also making a solid bit more money now, because uh, now that reinforcement is done. I'm working on an admin idea group. the 23rd of August. Gets these guys up to 74 hitting this button. Which isn't quite enough. Can I give them a province that will go and get them there? Seventy... 71, less than that, 69, this gives them 10 influence, so yeah, 69 would be okay, is that about the lowest I can give them, yeah. Bring their influence to 69.2. This will get them up to 75. That makes them unhappy with me again, but gets me military points. What does this get me? Tolerance of heretics. Where are the Kazani culture? Over here. 
it would help my would help my um, conversion efforts. In the Streltsky, the state has acquired a reliable source of professional infantry. In order to administrate the permanent service the state needs to keep an efficient bureaucracy, if expanded the Streltsky Priaz, we could if we expanded the Streltsky Priaz, we could more efficiently and we could more quickly and efficiently organize, train, and provision large numbers larger numbers of Streltsky. Some would caution that there is a cost to emphasizing speed, however. Gain 25 support and lose 40 military power. 25 support and lose 30 ducats or 5 mil. Uh, I'll lose the 30 ducats instead of the 40 mil. Give me them Streltsky. I mean, if I'm going to do it, I should do it while I, I'm in the golden era. Oh, yeah, I decided I was going to wait till after I get Diplotech. That's right. Thanks for reminding me. A few more months and we can do this. Let's go ahead and raise maintenance. Come back from here as well. Go ahead and get me this military access. I gotta take both, probably. And that's an 18 development province. Oh yeah, I forgot Circassia was my uh, vassal. Got them for to totally taking out Crimea. How convenient. Oh, they had that mothballed? Fantastic. You don't have any siege, do you? No. one more unit behind with you. Oh, up to 555 now. I need to go to war with Genoa at some point, take all the rest of this land. Stack wipe? Stack wipe. Kazan are going to be pissed off about it, but as long as I keep their truce timers. I actually don't even have a truce with the Great Horde right now. And Kazak would not defend them if I were to attack them. Start building the spy network here.
Rock has announced me as their rival. Listen, as much as I would love to rival you back, you're a ways away. You're a little ways away. Can't add one lava war, duh. I knew that. Austria and Bohemia arrivals. Fair laws embraced by all. A, commit, a commitment to true justice, blind to nation, religion, or tradition has proven popular with most portions of our population. Grievances against, grievances against a rule are greatly reduced. National unrest down and yearly corruption down. Fantastic. I especially like that yearly corruption down. So I could pay nothing and still have it go down. That is tempting. Need to finish up this war before I take out more loans. Cottage industry. That's going to have something to do with these guys. Economic development is not always without conflict. Um, it seems rich merchants in some of our burgers dominated cities have been attempting to bypass various guild privileges by outsourcing work to the homes of families living outside the city. The fact, this is, the fact that this putting out system has been a, a very profitable strategy only further inflame the artisans in the city who feel their ancient rights have been trampled on and, the caref and that the carefully managed prices of their products will suffer. The Ryazanian artisans now turn to the Nays to defend their privileges as the city councils have been un unable to root out competition not based in the cities. Will not stand in the way of progress. Boy, uh, the burgers lose loyalty, but we get production in Saratov and Kizil Yar, but a lot of unrest. Or safeguard the guild privileges. They gain loyalty, but also they gain influence. I think I'm going to not stand in the way of progress. That unrest isn't fantastic, but we should be able to handle it. The boyars want more lands. Of course, that puts them exactly at 80. Okay. Genoa declared war on Theodoro. Okay, good luck with that, Genoa. If we could finish the siege, that would be amazing. I wonder why it says 36 here and 35 there. Where are you guys going to spawn? Tin and Kizil Yatar. Forty-three here, forty-two there. New trade research is heretical. Lose 50 dip or 10 prestige. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that dip. Breaking the yoke. There's one down. I could rival Muscovy. I could rival Genoa. Persia, Poland, or Iraq. Might rival Genoa. I'd like to take land off them anyway. I should have waited until after my uh, troops got out of there to rival them, but...
You're allied with Castile and Sienna. Um, issue embargo. Is this, re is this rebellion actually going to fire soon? Probably. more years till the Age of Discovery ends. Inflation is going down, which is nice. And having done all that, having finished the main achievement we're going for, but we have a few other, th well, one big other thing we're going to go for. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Um, you know, after we take out Muscovy and get... What's it called? I can't even remember. Uh, ooh, maybe we should do this one too. Starting as an orthodox, orthodox nation, consecrate Metropolitan and Roma. That's going to take some work. We could probably do it, though. I was going to say after we finish Muscovy, finish getting uh, Kinslayer, what should we do after that? But now I kind of want to do that. Consecrate, consecrate a Metropolitan and Rome, but we'll figure that out on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you next time.